You'd be forgiven for not knowing precisely what Briar is, even if you're the type of guy who annoys his friends by pestering them to start using Telegram and Signal just because, oh, they're more secure, they don't sell your data, and they don't put pineapple on pizza. I really didn't know much about Briar until recently when it started gaining a bit more ground with recent protests and countrywide blackouts imposed by less than democratic governments. It, however, might be the next big thing because it offers three distinct options for communication. Tor-based, which helps make your connection anonymous. Bluetooth-based, which is novel though not always practical. And Wi-Fi or cell signal-based, which is of course nothing new. Briar's Tor support allows you to route your messages through a VPN and obfuscate the data from any would-be spies. Useful in case you're thinking of downloading a car or more RAM. What's more interesting though is Bluetooth support. Basically, you can message a friend without having internet access, be it due to a power outage or because your dumb roommate forgot to pay the bill again. God damn it, Kyle! Just turn on auto pay! It's no silver bullet though. To establish that connection, you have to physically approach one another and scan a QR code from each other's screens. It's secure and innovative, but still has a fair amount of clunk. Your own Bluetooth-enabled device can help others communicate, acting as a kind of node for messages to travel through. Ideally, you could pass a Briar message across the city without any cellular or internet connection, as long as enough Briar users populated that hypothetical city. And that's where the first problem rears its head. You see, Briar would work wonders if everybody in the world, or at least a city, had it. It could help fuel revolutions, it could erase the need for internet, it could even change the way messaging is done, but Briar gives a whole new meaning to the network effect. Not only do you need your friends on board in order to message them, you also need everyone. Larry in apartment 2B, some guy on the sidewalk outside your favorite pizza place, a woman in the park walking her dog. The potential is there though, and that's admirable. One other huge advantage that Briar has over pretty much every single popular messenger is its encryption methods and metadata storage. All of your metadata stays on your own device, eliminating the most vulnerable stage data transfers. It's open source and it hasn't been leaking user info left and right like some other apps. In fact, multiple security firms did reviews of its code to make sure they weren't just broadcasting everyone's data out of their pockets. Like a folding smartphone or an electric pickup truck, the first iteration of a technology usually leaves a lot to be desired. At this point, Briar is little more than an encrypted version of that telephone game we used to play during recess. I get more range out of yelling than I do out of Bluetooth, so for the moment, Briar remains the nichest of niche. But it actually has one, which is a good thing. Briar could have just been another we don't read your messages, use us, copycat of Signal, Telegram, or all those other small ones, Wicker, FireChat, whatever the kids aren't using these days. A lot can happen in just a few years, so I'm excited to see where Briar goes from here. I guess the only way is up. I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>